In the previous tutorial, we set our Unity project to get to the desired location while the user types an address in the input field. However, this may lead to issues. The user may try to interact with the scene using the keyboard while the input field is still in focus, leading to extra letters being added to the address text. In this tutorial, we will add a button so that our project only looks for the location when the user click the button or when pressing enter after typing the address. This will be a good opportunity to learn more about Unity user interface, specifically adding a button with an image in it and learning how to trigger a C-sharp method when the user presses the enter key inside the input field. We will also learn how to show different images based on the interaction with the button, including the click, highlight, and others. Okay, let's get started. In Unity Hub, open the project from the previous tutorial. We will start with adding a button. In Unity Editor, inside the hierarchy, let's expand the canvas game object. Right click on the canvas, select UI, then button, text mesh pro. Let's rename the button by adding underscore address underscore go. In the inspector, set the width and height to 45. Set the anchor to top left. Set the pivot to 0 on the X and 1 on the Y. And set the position X to 455 and the position Y to 0. Let's expand the button game object in the hierarchy. Select the text child object and delete it. We will not need it since we will use an image in the button instead of text. I have created a PNG image of a gray search icon with a transparent background. I use Photoshop to draw it, but you can use any photo editing tool you like. I have made two additional copies of the image and change the color of one to blue and the other to black. Now I have three search icon images. One is gray, uh, the other is blue, and the third is black. Let's create a folder to keep the images in Unity project. In the Unity editor, under the project, select the assets folder. Right click, select create, and then folder. Let's name the folder to images. Open the images folder. Okay, let's drag the three images to the Unity folder. Select the first image and in the inspector, select Sprite 2D and UI for the texture type and then click Apply. Save the project if you prompt to do so. Let's do the same with the other two images. Okay, now we can assign the sprites we created to the button. Select the button game object in the hierarchy. In the inspector, for the source image, click the Select Sprite button. Look for the search icon Sprite and double click it. We can choose other different sprites for when the button is highlighted and pressed. Go down to the button field, select Sprite Swap for the transition option. For the highlighted sprite, click the Select Sprite button and double click the search icon blue sprite. You may have named your other photos differently, so select the corresponding photos. For the breast sprite, select the Select Sprite button and double click the search icon blue sprite or whatever you named yours. Okay. Let's see what we've got so far. Press the play button. Notice the change in the button when you hover over and press it. Great! Now we can add the c -sharp code that interacts with the user interface. In the project, open the scripts folder. 
Double click the map C# file that we created previously to open it in your code editor. In the start method, we can listen to the on submit event that occurs in the input field. The on submit event is a trigger every time a user presses the enter button while the cursor is inside the input field. We can pass a method that gets called every time the event is triggered. I call the method on input submitted. We will write this method next. Let's create the method that we triggered by the on submit event earlier. The on submit event passes the text inside the input field as a parameter to this method. We can replace all the spaces in the text with a plus sign, as we've done in the previous tutorial, and assign it to the address string variable. And similar to what we've done in this method here, we can now call the coroutine method get Google Map Location. Let's create another method that gets triggered every time the button is pressed. Inside the method, we can get the text from the input field, replace the spaces with the plus sign in the text, and call the get Google Map Location coroutine method. Since we only trigger the map search when the user presses enter inside the input field or press the button, we no longer need this onTextChange method. Let's comment it out. Okay, let's save the C-sharp file and go back to the editor. In the hierarchy, select the input field game object. In the inspector, remove the method we set for the onValueChanged event. Let's assign the method we created in C-sharp to the button. In the hierarchy, select the button game object. In the inspector, go down to the on click event, click the plus sign to add the on button click method we created in the C sharp code. Drag the game object containing the C sharp code. In this case, it is the scripts game object. Select the C sharp code then choose the on button click method. Okay, let's save the project and click the play button. I will type in Sydney Opera House and press the enter key on the keyboard. It worked. All right, I will enter another address and click the search button to test it out. 456 Kent Street, Sydney, New South Wales, 2000. It worked too. Great. In this tutorial, we learned how to trigger a customized method when pressing enter on the input field or a button.